From the King's Academy, this is Studio 70. Welcome to Studio 70. I'm Matthew. And I'm Kirk. It's that time of year again. Prom is right around the corner. It seems that every year guys are getting more and more creative with their prom proposals. Here are the top 10 prom proposals of this year. Might strike out asking you this. Haley, will you go to prom with Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a yes? Okay. I'm here with CJ and Christina, and they were voted the number one promposal of the year. CJ, were you nervous when you asked her to prom? Um, I was a little nervous. I, I mean, I knew she was going to say yes because we kind of had a little something worked out. We talked about it for a while. But uh, yeah, I never really asked anyone to prom before. So oh, wow. getting up on stage and singing to her was, it was a little nerve wracking. So what planning did you have to um, think of to have this happen? Well, uh, having all the guys in Aida help out, um, that just had to be planned a little bit. And I got Mr. Snyder to help out. He played the piano and he got them together before it all happened. So I could be you know, backstage ready to come out. So, Christina, what was your reaction to this? Um, well, like CJ said, I didn't know he was going to ask me, but he had been giving me a hard time about it um, the couple of weeks prior. So I was totally shocked. Um, and I really didn't even really know what was going on until CJ came out and that like spotlight hit. I thought the boys were playing a joke on Mr. Snyder. And so I was, oh, sorry. I was um, getting a little frustrated. I was like, these guys, like this isn't even funny. And then CJ came out and I was like, oh, okay. It was funny though, because I felt like I was on glee. Like it was so over the top. I wasn't expecting it, it was very sweet. So CJ, what gave you the inspiration for this idea? Well, it seemed like uh, one of the best opportunities to ask her since we were you know, at Aida basically our entire lives for the past <laughs> month. So um, I didn't really have much opportunity to do it out anywhere else and I thought this was the best way to ask her. Well now let's take a look at the video. Christina, Christina, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Thanks, Savannah. Man, I don't know how the boys next year will top this. Speaking of the top, no one can top these two brothers in our next story. Recently, I spent the day with wakeboarder and wake skater Juan and Coco Mendez. Let's take a look at their inspiring story. Hello, my name is Kirk Ferris here on this beautiful Florida afternoon. I have with us our very own Studio 70, Juan Mendez, and his brother Coco. Juan and Coco, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having us out here, Kirk. You're welcome. Juan, I hear that you're a wakeboarder and then that Coco is a wake skater. Could you tell me the difference between the two sports? Sure, I'll, I'll let Coco tell you a little bit more about that. So, wakeboarding is more derived from snowboarding. It's pretty much just a board with two boots, you're riding sideways, kind of like a snowboard, and you do more flip-based tricks. You use the wake as a ramp, try to get the most air, and wake skating as a part from that is more derived from skateboarding in the part where you're not really attached to the board and instead of your body flipping or spinning you're trying to spin the board itself so the board has grip tape on it and you're using shoes to grip yourself on the board and try to spin it in as many different variations as you can Juan what is the most interesting place that you've visited to uh, compete well, Kirk, I compete on the U.S. tour here throughout the states, and I also compete on an international tour, um, mostly in the Pan Am countries, South America, North America. And in the past year, the most exciting places I've been to, I would say, were Peru, Chile, Argentina, Mexico, and a couple states throughout the U.S. 
And um, definitely the most exciting place I've been to is Mexico because it's just so full of culture and the weather was nice and the conditions for the contest were awesome and it's just good people and I don't know, I had a great time there. That's awesome. And what about you, Coco? Where have you traveled? Yeah, I've been um, I've been traveling around the U.S. on the Pro Wake Skate Tour. And just last year, I started going international. I went to Canada, and I went with Juan on his Pan Am tour around the South Americas. And this year, I had the opportunity to go with the top 10 wake skaters of the Pro Wake Skate Tour out to the Philippines. And we kind of trained there. It was, it was pretty fun. It was amazing. It's a completely different world out there. And the experiences and the culture we saw there was pretty unreal. So, Juan, are there any interesting wakeboarding stories that you can share with us? Yeah, Kirk, actually, back in 2012, I was riding down in Pompano Beach with my coach, and um, right before I went out to go ride, the boat was kind of pulling out of the dock, and the rope got caught on one of the cleats that tied down the boat, and I went to free the rope, and my thumb got caught in the rope, and it tore off, which is pretty, pretty sketchy, but I went through three surgeries, and I was in and out of therapy and rehab to get it moving again once it was on there for about three or four months before I started riding again. And uh, it was definitely a big drawback of that year because just the week before I had won my first contest. And I was really looking forward to that year. And I was actually able to compete in nationals and worlds that year, which was kind of a goal of mine after the, the accident had happened. So I was pretty pumped for that. Wow, that truly is a great story. I definitely would give that story a thumbs up. Finally, we did a little experiment here on campus. We wanted to see your reactions to someone in need of help. All right, so we got our very own Sophia here standing in the middle of the hallway, causing a little bit of a blockade, but uh, it's all right. She's not harming anyone until uh, Kirk decides to be a little bit of a bully here. Well, I mean, she was in my way, so I need to push her out of the way. Do you think uh, this kid right here with his neck turned, do you think he'll help? Nah, I think uh, he's just uh, going for the view, Kirk. Oh. oh, he kept walking. Some people just kept walking. But look at these kids on the left. They're just they're, looking and they're laughing. Chuckling. They're chuckling, they're chuckling. But uh, look at Bob. B Bobby, he's such a nice guy. He is, he is bending down and getting in all fours to pick up those papers. Such a nice kid. This gives me uh, faith and uh, hope in the future with uh, people like Bobby around here. I agree. Unfortunately, though, that everyone else is walking around here. I would expect more people to help her. Okay, Matt, we're here on to the next video. Here we have uh, Mr. Lieber as our plant. All right, man, let's see uh, how this clip goes. And oh. bam! Oh, man, look at that flop. You can definitely tell he's a basketball player. <laughs> yeah, you definitely can. Now, let's look at this man in the red shirt right here. Look at his reaction. He's just standing it's there priceless. looking at you. It's priceless. You can just imagine what's going through his mind. Definitely mad at me uh, about knocking into Mr. Lieber, but I'm surprised that he didn't uh, help him. Yeah, there's a lot of helping hands there, though, so I'm a little bit uh, joyous about that, Kirk. That's true. For the last video of the day, we have our very own Reed, a fellow student and member of Studio 70. Here we go, Kirk. Let's roll the clip. Let's roll the clip. Let's see what happens. And here we come. Oh, the bully. Let's stop it oh, right there. Oh, let's stop it right there. So far, I see two heads turn, looking directly at the moment of impact. Yes, I agree, Matt. Oh, no. Uh, oh, man. Oh, that, he gave him the cold shoulder, Matt. You know, there's a special place in Coach Tolson's office for people like that. There sure is, Matt. I can't believe no one helped out our boy Reed. It's a jungle out there, Matt. Yeah, sure is. Human behavior is fascinating. From Studio 70, I'm Matthew. And I'm Kirk. And we challenge you to know God and make him known. <laughs>